Okay, so let's take a look at how to do question number seven here in um, unit seven. This is uh, lesson one question. Um, and what we have is a, a set of data that's not given to us um, explicitly and we're asked to calculate mean, median, and mode, and also what we would have to do if we um, increase um, some of the values here by a certain percentage, what would be the new mean, median, and mode? Okay, so let's just take a look at what we would have here for the data set. So if I'm just gonna look at question A really quickly, um, we have 13 people with a weekly salary of $800. So the one thing I could do here is let's just write down 800, um, essentially 13 times, okay, so that we list all the elements in our set here. So I've got two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and 13. And then we have two assistant managers at $1,000 and one office manager at 1100. So what I've done here is I've put everything in rank order and then we can calculate um, the mean, median, and mode. So the mean would just be adding up all of the values and then dividing by the total number of people here, which is looking like it's uh, 13 plus two plus one. Um, so that is 16 elements. And the median is the middle value of the data set. Um, so the middle value is going to be um, the 16 elements divided by two, that will be the eighth element in the set. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this 800 here would be the median. That means 50% of the values are below eight or 800 or less and 50% are 800 or more. And the mode is the most common um, element there, which is 800. So if we look at question B now, if three people in the management team each received a salary increase of 3% and the other 13 people received an increase in 2%, what would be the new, new mean, median, and mode? Okay, so first we have to understand how do we do a 3% increase, okay? So a 3% increase means that we are going to multiply our values by 1.03. And a 2% increase means we are going to multiply our values by 1.02. Okay, that will give us the 3% the plus the original amount. Okay, so we take 0 0.03 times the total, but we also have to add the original amount to it. So the quick way to do that mathematically is you just multiply by 1.03 to reflect the increase. So if we were going to calculate the new mean, the mean of this set would just be um, we can do it in a sh quick short notation here. We know we have 13 people that make $800 and we are going to give them a 2% increase. So that's 1.02. So that would be one set of factors. The other people, um, we have a thousand of dollars times two of them that make a thousand and they get a 3% increase. Okay, and then we have um, the last person which is an $1,100 salary, and they also get a 3% increase. Okay, so we could take that, write an expression for that for the top, and then divide it by 13 plus two plus one. Okay, and when you work that out, you should see that your mean changes <clears throat> a little bit, but it will be 862.56. So that would be our new mean where we have a 3% increase. Um, the median, if we needed to calculate that, is just going to still be the $800, okay, times the 2%, because um, the median salary here is one of the 13 employees that make $800, so we just multiply that by 1.02, and that should give us $816 as the median. Okay, so that's with the 2%, and this is also the mode because the mode is the most common value and all we're doing is taking 800 and moving it to 816. Okay, so that's how you'd want to approach this type of a question. Um, write out the initial data set to figure out how many elements you have. Um, <clears throat> understand how you would calculate mean, median, and mode for the original data set and then you can just apply the idea of how to do an increase um, where we're just multiplying by the number um, so 3% is, for example, 1.03, and then work out the new <clears throat> total on top divided by the bottom, and that should give us our new mean.
for this problem set.